they joined the uh, sewage protest um, here outside Southern Waters, Buds Farm water, Wastewater Treatment Works because we're angry about the lack of progress um, in you know, restoring our natural environment, and, uh, which is what Southern Water should be doing because they are profiting off nature at the moment and they're not, um, yeah, they're, they're not doing any, in, uh, enough investment fast enough at the moment. And are you finding that, that the nature is actually getting damaged? Yeah, it, we've seen you know impacts across uh, Hampshire and the Isle of Wight because of pollution um, from wastewater treatment works. Um, the work we do on nature reserves is vital. They are our crown jewels uh, for wildlife across the county, and they're being undermined by the onslaught of sewage pollution. And uh, that's unacceptable, really. And it's stopping us from being able to do our job properly, which is, you know, to put nature back in recovery. And, and fish levels are obviously dropping out there. Seal life yeah, and so forth all being Definitely. Affected. And, uh, oh, I mean, all of our coastline here is protected internationally as part of the special protection area. And that should, have, you know, give some level of protection. But instead, what we're seeing is that green algal mat covering the solar, which is essentially um, caused by nutrients from sewage and also from farming. So that is stopping the bird species which um, come here every winter to feed from being able to find the food it needs. And it's having a devastating impact on international populations of dark-bellied brent geese and other, other winter birds. So that algae is actually caused by... Yep, so it's the overloading of um, nitrates is causing the, the algal mat to bloom and it essentially smothers everything underneath so it creates a, a an anoxic environment so it's deprived of oxygen so everything else dies meaning all of the the, uh, the sea food all of the fish all of the clams um, that the birds would feed off they're all dying um, as a result of the um, and how, how long has that been going on i mean for years this is a um you know a decades-long problem but it's really coming to um, a boiling point now we're seeing because of climate change we're seeing warmer weather which means we're getting more of these mats spread across the solar and that is wreaking increasing um, amounts of havoc on the natural environment so i didn't know the algae was actually caused to grow more by that yeah i mean so a healthy a healthy um uh mud flat and estuary system wouldn't have a green mat mud but true, true. yeah true. it's um it's directly caused by sewage but also by uh farming fertilizer so how many spills have they had this year from this one site i'd have to look at the data but it's been you know uh, it's been a lot of untreated sewage going directly into our, into our estuaries so there's footage earlier in the year of Langston harbour where it was something for a thousand hours the untreated sewage was just going straight a out thousand hours and it was just washing because of how the solar works it was just washing into the harbour and going across the whole ecosystem and just Don't devastating it. impact right. so what sort of area does this cover from this one site i mean what damage area does this cover i mean it's hard to know because you know it it kind of diffuses as it, as it goes out but because of the solent um the way the solent uh, waterways are set up it quite easily kind of stay in the estuaries for you know hours days weeks we don't really know but the longer it's there the you know the more impact it's going to have and obviously it's not just the nitrates and nutrients it's the deadly diseases e coli we've heard you know horror stories about people's pets about people getting ill it's just not on we've just had enough and the stench some days was absolutely disgusting yeah and what really got me was we couldn't come near each other um and we had to wash our hands all the time and yet obviously they were just dumping raw sewage into the the solar into yeah. Lansing Harbour yeah yeah it's unacceptable isn't it well it's, it is yeah you know and but also it, I mean it was proved by the court case a lot of what they're doing is against the law so you know shouldn't be using the untreated they shouldn't be using the storm overflows as just a regular occurrence every time it rains they need to be investing in proper infrastructure so that our systems can cope with you know the regular rainfall that we have because we're in britain the amount of people that live <laughs> and the here. amount of people that live yeah. here exactly we're breaching and, our environmental and they're also charging every one of those people that live here to treat their soil exactly and they're not doing their statutory duty as a water provider they're not doing it because they're not treating our sewage properly and they're um, having massive impacts on the nature from which it profits. Disgusting. 
And I mean, obviously, you're doing your job because you're like me, you're an animal lover. Yeah, exactly. So personally, how does that make you feel that this company's allowed to get away with that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's terrifying, really. But at the same time, I work a lot with, you know, MPs and I work trying to get some of the legislation through government and there's positive science just you know the amount of people that have been concerned about this issue over the last few years has grown exponentially and that gives me hope that you know it's placing pressure on our policy makers on our MPs um, and they are they're beginning to do something about it but it needs we need people in here as well to take the issue. we need them we need the CEO's money and all of the shareholders' money to be linked to environmental performance because it, till it is, they're just going to keep dumping sewage in our seas in the name of for profit um, and get richer and richer while our natural environment gets smaller. The more the southern water hears about this, the more that your MP hears about it and your councillors hear about it, the more they're going to want to take action about it. So, but also coming up at the moment is uh, southern water and uh, some of the other water companies their uh, water resource management plans where they set out what they're going to do on the environment and that consultation is open till February so if you want to directly tell them what they're not doing you can go down and put your two cents in the consultation that will be open till February it's open till February yeah. and how would they how would they do that I mean, oh I can give you a link but it's yeah through the WRSC the water resources so it will be on the WRE WRSE website. WRSE yeah. website. Yeah. Super. Thanks. Yeah, of course. That's super. Right. Just, no, just of course. What's